All right. Hey, Divine Ones. How y'all doing? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in, baby. Popping in. Popping in on y'all this afternoon. <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. Y'all come on in. Come on in. All my Divine Ones, baby. Come on in. Come on in. Auntie Pop. And in on y'all this afternoon. Surprise, 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 baby. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Mm. Glory to God. Come on in. Come on in, baby. And as y'all come in, listen, you're going to want to share this one. You're going to want to share this one. You're going to want to send this one to your bestie. You're going to want to send this one to your husband. You're going to want to send this one to your wife, okay? You're going to want to send this one. Share, share, share. Y'all make sure y'all share and come on in. Come on in, baby. Listen, this thing is hot. <laughs> it's hot, baby. It's so hot that my walk had to wait. God, I was about to go on the second part of my walk. I pulled back in the driveway. Holy Spirit said, you got to release this thing, baby. You got to release this right here, right now. And you know what? This word right here, this is a spinoff from the last live that we did. What's today? Wednesday. We did a live on Monday morning. Um, well, we did the fourth part of the 2024 Eagle series. We did that live on Monday morning. God had me to go back and listen to, listen to some of that live. And he gave me a spinoff from that live, baby. I see my mama on here. Come on in, come on in. V. Harris, Jerome Sanders. God is with me. Latoya, how y'all doing? Surprise, 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 baby. Auntie popping in on y'all. Come on in, come on in. So I was going back, listening to the live that I did Monday morning. Holy Spirit had me on an assignment to go back and listen <laughs> to a few minutes of it. And it was one particular part. And when I heard it, Holy Spirit said, that's it right there. I knew why he sent me to that video to go listen to it. Because he got a spinoff for y'all today, baby. You better get ready, get ready, get ready. Listen, put your spiritual seatbelt on. If you ain't strapped in, you better put that spiritual seatbelt on. I hear some clicking. I hear some clicking in the spirit, baby. Just like we be telling them children, just like I tell Kari, put that seatbelt on. Uh-uh, Kari, I have to tell him three or four times. Kari, put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. <laughs> put your seatbelt on. And by around the fourth or fifth time, I done told him, he said, okay, Ma, I got it on. I got my seatbelt on. And then we pull off. Then we take off. Then we go. That's what I hear the Lord say. He's saying, put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. Because he said, we ain't taking off till you do. Y'all put it in the comments, baby. Say, spiritual seatbelt. Put your spiritual seatbelt on. That means you in position. You are ready to take off. Y'all put it in the comments, baby. Say, spiritual seatbelt. And share this live, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Because I hear the Holy Spirit say that you have been preferred, baby. Oh, wait. Put your spiritual seatbelt on. Share this live, baby. Tell the divine ones. I don't care what y'all doing, where y'all ex. You gonna want to come in and get this thing while it's hot and fresh. Yeah, you can come by later on and get the replay. You can come by later on and eat the leftovers. But y'all know them leftovers don't be as good as when that thing fresh out the grease. It's hotter than fish grease today, baby. You don't want to get this thing fresh out the grease. The father is cooking it up today, baby. It's fresh out the grease. And I hear him say, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's going to give you all the spiritual nutrients that you need, baby. It's going to prepare you. It's going to position you. It's going to get you ready. I hear the Holy Spirit say that you have been preferred. Mmm. Now, this word ain't for everybody. Okay, it ain't for everybody, baby, but it's going to be for somebody. I'm talking to the folks that's been working on their heart. Okay, just like we say all the time, baby, what that heart do? Divine ones, y'all put that thing in the comments, baby. If you ain't a divine one, you don't even know what that means. You got to get on board. You got to get in with the family, baby, because we work on that heart over here. Put it in the comments, baby. Say what that heart do. What that heart do. That's what we working on. That's what we talking about. That's the part that we, we trying to make fine, that we trying to make sexy, that we trying to get glamorous, that we trying to get all, all dolled up. We want to work on the heart because as a man thinketh in his heart, baby, so is that man. I can get you a new hairdo. I can get you a new hairstyle. Come on now. I can get you some skincare products. I can get you a good haircut, find you a nice old barber that going to give you that line up, baby, how you looking crisp. <laughs> 
How you looking sharp, baby? You get you some new forces, get you some new shoes, get them new J's. You can get you a new outfit. You can get a whole makeover. But if you don't work on that heart, you will not be preferred. Not by God. <laughs> not by God. You might get picked by man. You might get preferred by people. But let me tell you something about when you the people's pick. You got to tap dance for people. We ain't signing up for that. Okay. You got to tap dance for people, baby. You got to walk on eggshells. You got to talk about what they want you to talk about. And you got you you held victim to them. You are at their mercy. I ain't trying to be at people's mercy. Because people love you one day and hate you the next. Come on now. But God is unchanging. He is unchanging, baby. I hear him say, hold on to my hand, my unchanging hand. He says, I am with you today. I will be with you tomorrow. And I'm going to be with you forevermore. Working on that heart. This is what allows you to be preferred by God. Y'all listen, because it's going to be real quick. But it's going to be just what you need. I was telling y'all on the last live we did. That there are some spirits that are in some people. It ain't the people. It's the spirits that's in them. See, you got to know who your real opponent is. The enemy want to get you caught up thinking that it's your sister in Christ. That it's your brother in Christ. No, baby. It's the spirits that's operating in these folks. See, once I figured out who my real opponent is, once I figured out who I'm really fighting, that's when the fight was on. That's when the fight was on, baby. The enemy wants you to be fighting with your family member. He wants you to be fighting with your husband. He wants you to be fighting with your wife. He wants you to be fighting with your co-workers. When these folk got a soul that need to be saved just like yours. You got to understand who the real enemy is. Who is your real opponent? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Come on now. This is a spiritual fight. Somebody put it in the comments, baby. Say this is a spiritual fight. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, mm. against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's why the enemy is so, he's, he's so successful. His success rate is so high because he understands principles. He understands the fundamental truth of the word of God and he uses these principles in the heavenly realm in the spiritual realm that's why he's, his success rate is so high so I hear the Lord say baby you got to take this thing back to what I told you in Joshua 1 and 8 he told Joshua he said if you go to my word mm, if you go to my principles baby if you meditate on this word day and night you find principalities, baby. You got to know the principles. I feel the power of God. You got to know the principles to be able to win this fight or the devil going to chew you up and spit you out. You think that's what we were talking about last night, baby, on our session with Coach Tyson. You can't fix something in the natural that you got to go in the spirit and fix. Come on now, y'all better get in the membership, baby, because we dropping that value in now. You can't fix something in the natural that, that was, you got to go in the spiritual realm. This is a spiritual fight. Bible lets us know that our weapons are not carnal. You can't cuss the devil out. Every cussing word you got, he got three more for you. <laughs> You can't fight the devil with your bare hands. You might have been a head bustle, baby. You might have been knocking them out. You might have been laying them down in your day. But this is an enemy that you will not be able to fight with your muscles. You will not be able to fight with your bare hands. You will not be able to beat them into shutting their mouth. Because for the, every person you knock out, I just told you. It ain't that person. It's the spirit that's operating in that person. So when you take their life, when you lay them out, come on now, that spirit going to jump out and get in somebody else, and you're going to have to deal with the same devil. Same devil, because it ain't them. It's you versus you. Come on now. Any of y'all ever left a job and went to a different place, and you had to deal with the same kind of folks, had to deal with the same kind of boss. <laughs> You left one relationship, went to another one. You thinking, if I can get away from that man, I'll be all right. Ooh, if I can get away from that woman, I'll have me some money. I'll be able to prosper. And then next thing you know, you still dealing with stuff. You still having issues. That's because it's you versus you. Come on now, that's it, Laura. Them patterns. That's because it's you versus you. 
Glory be to God. So once you go within and you fix the heart, y'all share this live today, baby, because I didn't even know I was going to be on him. I'm supposed to be out there on my walk. But God say, woman, I have need of you. I need you to come and get his word for my people, baby, because there's some chosen ones that's been going through it. It's some chosen ones that's been in the battle, baby. You've been in the spiritual furnace. But I hear the Lord say that the enemy will not destroy you, baby, because you have been preferred. Glory be to God. When you have been preferred by God, see, it ain't nothing nobody can say. It ain't nothing nobody can do. It ain't it ain't no evil doer. It ain't no witchcraft. It ain't no craftiness. It ain't no wickedness. It ain't no manipulation. It ain't no kind of deeds, works, or spirits that can stop you when you have been preferred. You better write that down, baby. Say, God has preferred me. I feel like Daniel today, baby. I want y'all to go read Daniel 6. Because in Daniel 6 and 3, it says, Then this Daniel was preferred. Ooh. I hear the Lord say, Then this Latoya was preferred. Mm. Then this Robert Brown was preferred. Come on now. Then this Melanie Rankin was preferred. Ooh. Then this Dr. J was preferred. Oh, okay. Come on now. Then this Laura Paisley was preferred. Then this J Blessed was preferred. Y'all better come on in, come on in. Look, you're going to miss your blessing. You better come on. Like I was telling them last night, baby, on the Zoom, you better stick to the end. You better hold on because we leave out too quick because we got short attention spans and then God be looking for you to call your name and you done missed out on your blessing because you done let them chum call you. You done let somebody call you and you done missed your name. You done, you missed the roll call when God was passing our blessing. Y'all better get on these lives. You better subscribe to this channel. You better make sure your notifications are on baby because you're going to want to get everything that the Holy Spirit has for you in this season. You have been preferred. Glory be to God. Come on now, Bobby Davis. Then this Bobby Davis was preferred. Y'all go read Daniel 6. Daniel 6 and 3. Mm. When the Lord has preferred you. Let me tell y'all what preferred means, baby, real quick. Preferred means having special status. Having special status or receiving special treatment. Ooh. Put it in the comments, baby. Say special treatment. Wait a minute now. God got special treatment for me. Oh, baby. And you ain't listening. Oh, I remember when we were little. God just brought this memory to me. I remember when we was little, when we was in kindergarten, we was in little elementary school, and we used to have leader day. And I remember when I was a little girl. Glory be to God. God just brought this memory back to me. It was almost like I had suppressed it. I hadn't even thought about it no more after all these years. But in this message right here, Holy Spirit just brought it to my remembrance. I remember we had, we alternated days when we was in elementary school. And we had on each day, a different student was the leader. And if you was the leader on that day, then that means that you got to help the teacher out. That means that you got first dibs on everything. You got first pick on everything. Anytime the teacher needed somebody to pass out papers for them, she gave you the papers. And oh, baby, we used to, oh, you couldn't tell us nothing, baby. Because we used to think we were the bond.com. We got to pass out the papers. Yeah, we got special treatment the whole day. When we when the teacher said, okay, who wants candy? And she would say, come and get the candy. And the leader got to pick the candy. So we would get the best candy. We would get the best chocolate. Because whoever was the leader that day, you had to come and pick your candy out first. And then they had to get what you didn't want. <laughs> come on now. That's how it was, baby. Like we was in elementary school. And the day that we that I would wake up that morning, I knew I was going to be the leader that day. I had a, I woke up that day with a smile on my face, baby. It was just like your birthday. If you woke up and you knew, oh, I'm, I'm the leader today. You know when you go in the classroom, your name going to be on the board. They're going to have Latoya Okia on the board. She is the leader for today. Latoya gets first pick. Latoya gets special treatment. That's how it's going to be with you and God. You have been preferred. Mm. 
you get the first pick. Come on now. You get because you waited your turn. Listen, because in order for you to get the leader, in order for you to be the leader on your day, see, you had to wait your turn. You had to clap for the other students when it was their day. You had to watch the other people be blessed. You had to watch the other people get special treatment. See, you had to be a team player in order to wait around for your day to come. So that's one of the qualifications. Got to be qualified now. Nah. God ain't just going to pick anybody. He ain't just going to give special treatment to anybody. He ain't just going to prefer anybody. But you got to have patience. Put it in the comments, baby. Patience is a virtue. You got to be patient. You got to wait your turn. Come on now. You got to be able to clap for your brothers and your sisters in Christ. You got to be able to be a team player. When God giving special treatment to other people, you got to be able to look at them people and say congratulations. Come on now. You got to be able to look at them and say, I'm so proud of you. I'm so excited about what God is doing in your life. You got to know, baby, that if your neighbor is getting blessed, Angela Sullivan, thank you so much for your seed, baby. You better know that if your neighbor is getting blessed, if if your neighbor is getting special treatment, then that means that God is in the neighborhood. Come on now. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say God is in the neighborhood. See, chosen ones don't get jealous. I got chills in here today. Glory be to God. Chosen ones. Eagles don't get jealous when they see their friends be blessed. They don't get jealous when they see their friends get married. Come on now. They don't get jealous when they see their friends get by, by that home that they was dreaming about. They don't get jealous when they see their friends' businesses start prospering. When they see their name. That means that God is in the vicinity. Ooh. That means that he's in the neighborhood and he's passing out blessings. So let me clap for my brothers and my sisters. Because this is one of the pre-qualifications to me getting my season. Oh, somebody say I'm next. Come on now. Y'all watch that video I gave y'all a few days ago. God says you're next. You next, but he's watching you. He's watching to see how you respond when you see somebody else get what you've been praying for. And you feel like you've been working twice as hard as them. And you've been so most seeds than they've been sowing and you've been putting in more work than they've been putting in and you smarter than they are and you're more talented than they are and how in the world they got it and I ain't got it yet. God is looking at that. He's looking at that. Come on now. You got to watch other people shine. You got to be able to watch other people be blessed. You got to be able to watch other people move from the back of the line to the front of the line. Come on now. And you got to know, baby, because that's how I used to be when I was a little bitty girl sitting in that little bitty chair in kindergarten. I was sitting there waiting patiently for my turn. Come on now. I was sitting there waiting patiently because I knew, yeah, such and such and such might be the leader today, but I'm going to have my day. Well, I'm going to be the leader. Come on now. I'm going to have my day. Well, I'm going to get to pass out all the papers. I'm going to have my day. Well, I'm going to be able to help the teacher grade the papers. <laughs> I'm going to have my day. Well, I'm going to be first in line. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. That was another benefit. That was another perk to being the leader. When you came to school and it was your day to be the leader, the class couldn't even leave. They couldn't, the room, the, the students couldn't even leave out the classroom until the leader got front in line. You had to be the first in line, baby. I can take off running in here today. If Latoya was the leader that day, the teacher, the teacher said, y'all, hold on, wait a minute. We can't go to the class. We can't go to the lunchroom yet. We can't go eat lunch yet because the leader has to get up front. See, the leader had to be the first in line. And once the leader got first in line, baby, once the leader got in the front of the, we had to get in a single file line and the leader led the line. If the class was going to the bathroom, the leader had to get first in line, lead the class to the bathroom. If the class was going to lunch, the leader had to get first in line and lead the class to the lunchroom. That's what it means with God when he says that you have been preferred. You have been preferred. Come on now. He said you're going to move from the back of the line to the front of the line. Oh, he said where you was being the follower, you will shift from being a follower and you will move to being a leader and you will lead by the gifts 
that I have placed on the inside of you. He said, when people see your good works, come on now, when they see your deeds, when they see your heart, when they see your character, when they see you living in your purpose, when they see you glorifying God using the gifts that he placed inside of you, he said, you are a kingdom trailblazer, baby. You're going to blaze a trail. You're going to, I see y'all walking forward. God calling your name. You walking forward in your gift. You blazing a trail that ain't nobody never walked before. You walking a path that ain't nobody never ventured before. But when they see the leader walking, somebody say, follow the leader. Ooh, put it in the comments, baby. Say, follow the leader. Somebody say, follow the leader. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Write that thing down, baby. Say, I have been preferred. I am the leader, baby. And God say this the season where everybody going to follow the leader. Follow the leader. Let me tell y'all something. If you ever doubted the power of God, mm, if you ever doubted whether or not the Holy Spirit is real, let me assure you that he is real, baby. And he will bring all things to you. He will bring all things to your remembrance because he doing it right here, right now in me. I didn't know what God was going to have me to get on here and say. I wrote down a few points, but then I prayed right before I got on here and I said, Lord, help me to you use my vessel today. Give the, I pray that this video, I pray that these courses, I pray that every piece of work that I create, that I put out into this world, that it finds the people that is for, that it finds the people that need it, and that you will use me in a way like you never have before. I have never told this story that I'm telling y'all right here, right now, because in my mind, y'all know how you, you, you done had so many experiences and stuff. Your mind will tend to suppress some of your memories, some of your experiences, but the Holy Spirit, baby, God is so good that he will bring it up in your remembrance. He'll bring it up and look at how God is using it right now to be able to drive this message to the person that is for. I just went up in my faith today. Come on now. Somebody ought to go. I hear God say, turn your faith up. You, you, your volume too low. Put it in the comments, baby. Say, turn your faith up. Leaders turn their faith up, baby. Eagles turn their faith up. God say, you ain't loud enough. I can't hear you. I need you to turn your faith up. That volume too low. Turn that thing up. <laughs> turn that thing up, baby. Put it in the comments. Say, turn that thing up. Turn your faith up. Your volume is a little bit too low. I need you to turn it up some. Come on now. Put it in the comments. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Ooh. Turn. I hear it now. I'm starting to hear y'all now. Come on now. You starting to come through now. I can hear you. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up some more. Blast that thing, baby. Turn your faith up. You ain't loud enough. You ain't loud enough. You've been tiptoeing. Uh-huh. You've been watering yourself down. Come on now. You've been over there in the cut. You've been trying to act like greatness ain't in you. I need you to turn the volume up. I need you to crank that thing, baby. I need you to blast it so loud that the devil get annoyed. I need you to blast it so loud that he start hearing it in the airwaves, in the spirit. He start saying, ooh, what is that noise? What is that, baby? Somebody tell him that's greatness. That's greatness, baby. Because you are a leader. And you have been preferred by your heavenly father. And just like it was with Daniel, baby. Come on now. You, when, when God prefers you, when God calls your name above the others. Okay, that's what it means to be preferred. When God favors you, when God chooses you. Come on now. When God picks you. Somebody put it in the comments. And say, I am God's pick. I am God's peak. I am God's peak. Put it in the comments, baby. You are God's peak. And when God pick you, it don't matter. Do you understand me when I tell you that it does not matter what a hater says? <laughs> it does not matter what, what haters. God said, child, what haters? Forget about some haters. And the only way haters matter is if you give them your attention. You give them your power. But he said, when you have been preferred, when you are my peak, I wish the devil would. I wish the devil would. I'm going to tell y'all like God told me, baby. He said, if anybody get in the way of what I have told you to do, God's so serious about this thing. He said, if anybody try to stop you, if anybody try to hinder you, he said, you better pray mercy for them folks, baby. Because God say, I am so serious about my purpose in these days. He said, I will blow them folks out the water just like I did Pharaoh. Let somebody start pursuing you to try to stop you from what God done told you to do, baby. He said, woe be unto your enemies, baby. I will make your enemies your footstool. God said, I will shut their mouth so hard, baby. You will be on your face praying for them folks. Lord, you ain't have to do them like that. Ooh, Lord, have mercy on them. Let your will be done, Lord. I know your will is perfect, but Lord, please have mercy on these folks, baby. You will be feeling sorry for them. 
God ain't playing by what he said. Do you understand me? He said, I'm just waiting on you to get serious. I'm just waiting on you to make up your mind. Okay. Somebody put it in the comments, baby. Say, I got to make up my mind. Such and such don't matter. Bill and them don't matter. Sue's and them don't matter. Whoever talking, whoever saying whatever, they do not matter. You and God are the majority. I did a word about that one time. You and God are the majority. The majority rules. Y'all understand how the majority vote goes. When a vote, when a, when when the majority vote done rule, that's it. It don't matter what whoever got to say. Michaela Jones, welcome to the membership, baby. You and God are the majority. So when you get on board with what God says, because see, God had already spoken over your life, but you got to make up your mind. And once you make up your mind that you say, you know what? I am a leader. I am a leader. I have been preferred by God. Come on now. I am God's son. Men, put it in the comments. Say, I am God's son. Women, put it in the comments. Say, I am God's daughter. It don't matter what they think about me. It don't matter if they never loved me, if they never treated me the way I deserve to be treated. Don't none of that matter because I am God's daughter. I am God's son. And I have been preferred by my heavenly father. When you say that, when you get on board with what God has already deemed for you, what he has already spoken over your life, anything that tries to stop that will be unto them. Do you understand me, baby? You have been preferred just like it was with Daniel. It says, then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and the princes. Mm. Okay, wait a minute now. So you mean to tell me Daniel was preferred over people with positions? When you have been preferred by God, when you have been picked, when you have been selected, see, y'all know how they say favor ain't fair. Okay, put it in the comments, baby. Say favor ain't fair. I see some folks saying, wait a minute now, how she get the pick? How she get this? How he get that? I have more degrees than he does. I have more credentials than he does. Come on now. I have more, I have more experience. I have seniority. I have this. I have that. Somebody say favor ain't fair. <laughs> God ain't checking to see how such and such, and such feel about him elevating you. He is God. He don't have to call no town hall meeting when he get ready to anoint somebody. He don't have to call no town hall meeting to see what the town got to say about it. To see what such and such got to say about it. To see what the presidents and the princes got to say about it. When God has preferred you, baby, you get the phone call, okay? You can get the phone call and you ain't even put in the application. Come on now. I hear the Lord say, when I have preferred you, baby, you will get blessings that you ain't even qualified for. Like we say down here, you ain't not qualified. <laughs> you ain't not qualified, baby. Oh, listen, we just got all kind of sayings down here in the South, baby. That's what we say. I, how she get it? She ain't not qualified. He ain't not went to school. I ain't went to school. Don't even know. Ain't, ain't got nobody degree. You ain't, I ain't touched no, ain't smelt no degree. <laughs> Come on now. I ain't got no degree. I ain't bit more got no degree than a man in the moon. How you get that position? How you get to make that much money? <laughs> how you get that kind of office? How you get the sky, the, 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 the sky rise? The office on top? How you get all that? That's what I hear folks saying. <laughs> Tell them, baby, say, I have been preferred. Okay, I have been preferred. Then you know, somebody put it in the comments, baby, say, then you know, I have been preferred. Favor ain't fair. <laughs> Favor ain't fair, but God said, you know what else wasn't fair? All the hell that you had to go through. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All the hell that you had to go through. All them tears you had to cry. That wasn't fair neither. You ain't hear nobody saying nothing about that. You ain't hear nobody saying, it's not fair for her to be going through this and going through that. This needs to be boycotted. This needs to be stopped. You don't hear, you ain't hear nobody saying nothing when you were going through. Nothing when you were sliding down the wall doing the ugly cry. Ain't nobody have, everybody will find with everything then. But as soon as God go to blessing you, who am I talking to today, baby? If I'm talking to you, put it in the comments. Say you talking to me. 
Oh, okay. Because sooner God go to blessing you. Come on now. Sooner you come to ride through with coming through on your new will. Soon as you get your dream home. Soon as you get your dream job. You start making the money you always desired to make. Come on now. Twin Jackson, thank you so much for your seed, baby. You start getting the money you always wanted to make. You start getting that new lifestyle. That's when everybody got something to say. Well, that ain't fair. Well, I don't think it should be given to him. I don't think he should have this and have that. Well, how she get this? How she get to live like this? Well, how she get to stay in this? How she? You ain't say nothing when she was staying in the hut. And I hear the Lord say, because your hardships were publicized. See, the devil put you on front street for everybody to see you cry, for everybody to see you be lied on, for everybody to see you get cheated on. Come on now. For everybody to see you lose everything. They watched you lose everything, baby. They watched you go belly up. So I hear the Lord say that it's only right. Come on now. Put it in the comments. Say it's only right. It's only right for them to watch you be preferred. Oh, it's only right for them to watch you be elevated, baby. It's only right for them to watch you to shine. They got to watch that. They saw everything else. They ain't miss nothing else. They saw every bit of it and laughed about it. Uh-huh. So God said they're going to see my glory be revealed in you. Ooh. They're going to see that you were, been, you were the preferred one, that you were the chosen one, that you were the one that I selected, that I picked. And he said, this is how you get preferred. Because he said, I don't pick everybody now. Somebody put it in the comments and say, God don't pick everybody. The Bible says that many are called, baby, but few are chosen. So if you want to be chosen, if you want to be preferred, if you want to be picked, you better listen up. Put it in the comments, baby. Say, he don't pick everybody. A lot of folks think they're going to be picked and ain't. You can think you're right and be dead wrong. There is a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You can think that you dead right and you can be dead wrong. God don't pick everybody. <laughs> if he picked everybody, then that wouldn't make you. What's special about you? Come on now. What I just told y'all about when I was in elementary school. If every day, every one of the students was the leader, <laughs> it would have made, it wouldn't have been special. It was special because you got the special treatment. You was the only one that got it amongst everybody else. You was the one that got first peak. You was the one that got the special treatment. You were the student that got the special benefits and the perks. You were the one. Oh, and I also just thought about this. Holy Spirit brought this to my memory. When you was the leader, you got, you got to write on the board that day. If the teacher had to leave out the room, leave out the classroom, she would give the marker to the leader and the leader would come stand up in front of the board and the leader would take names. Y'all remember that? <laughs> you had to take names. So the leader was watching to see who taught, who taught while the teacher wasn't in the room, who was misbehaving. And if you misbehave, if you taught, when Miss Smith left the room, come on now, when Miss Tarver left the room, if you taught, if you was being bad, the leader would write your name on the board. <laughs> Come on now. Somebody say I'm taking names, baby. You, the leader would write your name on the board. And then if you if you got another strike, if you did something else, the leader would, we would put a little check mark by their name. Okay. And then by the time Miss Smith come by, she look at the board. Tommy got three checks. <laughs> Come on now. Tommy got three checks. Sarah got two checks. <laughs> Come on now. Little Mikey got five checks. Taking names. The leader had to stand up in front of the class and take names. Come on now. I hear the Lord say, take names, baby. He said, take names. I hear him say, write it down. Write it down and give it to me. Uh-huh. Because when you the leader, baby, when God has preferred you, you ain't got to go tit for tat with nobody. You can let, when, when the teacher came back, the teacher handled that. The teacher dealt with that baby and the leader went on about their business and kept on leading. <laughs> the leader went right on about their business. When the teacher came by, when the authority came by, they dealt with them names. And I hear the Lord say, give me the names of your enemies. Come on now. Give me the names of the people that's been taunting you. Give me the names of the people that's been hurting you. Give me the names of the people that's been breaking your heart. Somebody say the devil better watch out because I'm taking names. I have been preferred, baby. I'm the leader. 
God has called me to be the leader. I want y'all to stand on kingdom business with that thing too. Don't be playing around with it. Take your authority today, baby, and stand on kingdom business and let the enemy know I'm taking names. I ain't going to say nothing to you. Mm -mm. My father will avenge me. My vengeance is his. Come on now. I heard the Lord say that vengeance is mine. He says, I will repay. Get them names to me. And you going on about your business and keep on leading. Keep on being preferred, baby. Keep on being the chosen one. Keep on walking in the favor of God. And you ain't got to deal with now spirit. God say, I will shut the mouths of your enemies. You have been preferred. You have been preferred. Come on now, Daniel 6 and 3. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and the princes. Remember I just told y'all, God don't pick everybody. There are certain qualifications that lead to you being preferred. Daniel was picked for a reason. Daniel was selected for a reason. Daniel was preferred for a reason. And you're going to read it when you go to the scripture. It says, because an excellent spirit. Because an excellent spirit was in him. Mm. Do you have an excellent spirit within you? Somebody put that in the comments. Say excellent spirit. You got to walk with a spirit of excellency. Meaning that when nobody is watching you. Come on now. We talked about this last night on our on our um session with Coach Tyson. That's one of the nuggets he gave us. I'm telling y'all, baby. Y'all need to get in the membership if y'all ain't in now. He's when nobody is looking. That's your greatest stage. When nobody is looking, that's your greatest stage. Come on now. When ain't nobody around to tell the story, when ain't nobody around to see what you're doing, what do you do? That is what will determine if you will be preferred. That is what will determine if you will be promoted. You don't get promoted for what the boss see. You don't get promoted for what the crowd see, but you get promoted. Because what you're doing when ain't nobody around to tell the story, that's your greatest stage right there. It ain't the stage where they give you a microphone where everybody come down, sit down, look at you, watch you. You know how to act then. Anybody that got some sense gonna know how to act then. But how do you act when nobody is around? Mm. How do you talk to your children when nobody is around? How do you talk to your grandbabies when nobody is around? How do you treat the waitress at the table that comes to serve you your food? Mm. Come on now. How do you treat the man at the car wash when you pull in to get your car washed? And y'all know how the worker will come out right before you go inside of the car wash. And they, they spray the stuff on your car. They, get, they prep your car. They get your car ready to go into the automatic car wash. How do you treat that person? Do you even give them a second look? Or you say, oh, you, you look beneath them. You, you look down on them. Because you got a corporate job and they work at the car wash. And all they do is spray lava and stuff on people's cars. You don't even look up and say, good morning. How you doing? Excellent spirit. How, what do you do when you're in the shop, when you're in, when you're in the mall, when you're in the store and you're shopping and you knock some clothes down? You knock some clothes down. Your kids knock some, they go in the store, play with toys and stuff and leave, leave, leave the folks toys scrolled out all over the floor and stuff. And you walk, you step right on over it, walk right on out of that store. And you know your child and tore up that store. Leave that, somebody else going to clean that up. That, we don't get paid for that. They, they pay them. They got workers. They pay to do that. Excellent spirit in everything that you do. I'm not talking about what you do with me. I'm not talking about what you do when you come on the Zooms with me. I'm not talking about what you do when you're on the lives with me. I'm talking about what you're doing when you get off of him. I'm talking about what you're doing when I don't see you. Come on now. Excellent spirit. This is how you are preferred. You treat everybody with honor. I don't care who it is. I don't care what they do. I don't care how much money they make. I don't care what color their skin is. I don't care if they are male. I don't care if they are female. Come on now. You treat everybody with honor. You add value to everybody. Not just the people you think that you can benefit from. Come on now.
Because it's easy to add value to people. It's easy to smile and serve people when you feel like you got they got something you can benefit from. They got something that you can you can capitalize off of. But what about the people that ain't got nothing to offer you? They don't have anything but a smile on their face. They don't have anything. They ain't got a dime to their name. They don't have nothing to give you. How do you treat those people? I feel the power of God today. How do you treat them people? Come on now. Do you think about the little person? Do you think about the little person? Travel, food, music, thank you so much for your seed. Do you think about the little people? Do you think about the underdogs? Excellent spirit. See, when you have that type of spirit, don't tell me God won't elevate you. Ooh. Don't tell me God won't prefer you, baby. You might be living in a hut. You might be living in the pit. But when you have an excellent spirit, you won't be there alone. I'm telling you what I know. Do you understand me? When you have an excellent spirit, you won't be in the gutter for long. It is, it is by law. Somebody put that in the comments. Say by law. This is the divine law of God. The law that he spoke in the beginning that set the universe into motion, baby. It is why the planets don't collide with one another. Come on now. It is why the water only goes to a certain point and then it stops. It don't go past the point that God set the law and said the waters do not cross this part. Come on now. It is why this earth is still spinning. Why it's still rotating. By the word of God. Everything stands by the word of God. By his law. What he speaks from his mouth is law. Come on now. What he speaks. There is no other law. There is no other law of whatever. It is God's law. And that's it. That's the only power that ever was. That's the only power that ever will be. His law. And by law, by the principles of God, by the words that God has spoken out of his mouth, baby, there is no way that you will have an excellent spirit and you will not be preferred. You will not be elevated. I don't care if God got to send the birds to feed you. Do you understand me? I don't care if an animal got to bring it to you, baby. Some way, somehow, the blessing going to get to you. Ooh, some way, somehow, baby, that thing going to find you. You can be out in the boondock somewhere. You can be in the boonies. You can be in the middle of nowhere. Some way, somehow, that blessing going to get to you. Because it's what you're sending out into the world. Come on now. You send it out a signal from your heart. You send it out a signal from your spirit that says excellence, 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 excellence. Excellence. I want y'all to be, I want you to meditate on that word day and night. I hear the Lord say excellence, excellence in everything that you do. He say, do it with a spirit of excellence. Glory be to God. On this video right here, right now, baby, God told me, he said, do it with a spirit of excellence. He said, everything you do, woman, do it in excellence. Knowing that you do not serve human masters, but everything that you do, do it as unto the Lord. Lord, give it your best. Give it your best. Come on now. Stop half doing stuff. See, the reason we, we wondering why stuff ain't adding up when we trying to make the math add up and the math ain't mathing. You got to look at it when it comes to my service, when it comes to my spirit, when it comes to my attitude, when it comes to my heart posture. Is there something else I can help with? Come on now. Hush, watch. <laughs> When it comes to your heart posture, when it comes to your attitude, come on now. When it comes to your spirit, does it scream excellence? Or are you half doing stuff? Are you doing enough just to get by? Because see, I learned that, that when you do just enough to get by, you will make just enough to get by. When you do more than what you got paid for, See, when you give more time than what you than what they signed up for, when you over deliver, when you over give, see, you can't beat God's giving. So in all your giving that you give, baby, 
the Lord say, I'm going I'm to not only match what you just gave, but I'm going to give you twice as much. I'm going to give you three times as much. And sometimes, baby, God hundredfold that thing. He hundredfold that thing. Any of y'all ever did a good deed for somebody, ever sold something into somebody, did something, and before you even could turn around good, baby, that thing be done came by. And not only did it come by, oh, it came by multiplied. Good measure. Ooh, press down. Come on now. Shaking together and running over. Shall men give unto your bosom? They're going to give, baby. Everywhere you turn around. Nigga, every time you turn around, that's what I hear y'all saying. Tell you, every time I turn around, God, keep on blessing me. Every time I turn around, somebody giving to me and my family. Every time I turn around, tell you, just when I thought we didn't have nothing to eat. Every time I turn around, somebody came and blessed us with some food. Every time I turn around, somebody came. Every time I turn around, I got a check from somewhere. I got some, I overpaid something five years ago and didn't even know it. And they sent me a check. Coach Monica Stokes, thank you so much for your seed, baby. Glory be to God. That's what I hear y'all saying every time I turn around. Every time I turn around, put it in the comments, baby. Speak it prophetically over your life today. Don't y'all be waiting on these folks to give y'all no prophecy. Do you know that you are a self-fulfilling prophecy? You better lay hands on yourself and speak it. Say every time I turn around. God keep on blessing me. Come on now. Every time I turn around, my bank account keep getting full again. Every time I turn around, every time I release one dollar, ten come back. God reminded me. He said, you stop speaking. He said, you better speak that thing. Oh, don't you wait on it to show up. He said, you got to speak it into existence, baby. The money ain't in your account because you ain't been talking to it. I hear the Lord say, use your power. Speak to that thing. Tell your money. Every dollar I spend, 10 come by. Come on now. Every dollar I spend, 100 come by. The Lord is giving me hundredfold. You got to talk to your money. Tell it what you want it to do. God is giving you the power. Come on now. Talk to your situation. Speak life over your marriage, baby. Speak life over. Don't you let the enemy come in and tell your marriage to shreds. If you sit there and don't say nothing, it going to go in the ground. You got to speak over your marriage. You got to speak over your home. You got to speak over your children. You got to speak over your money. Come on now. You got a light bill to pay. You tell that, tell that money. I'm going to pay these $200 on these utilities. But it, because I owe it. <laughs> and if I don't pay it, they're going to cut them off. So I'm going to pay this $200 on these utilities. But listen to me. Every dollar that I release here. For every dollar I just sold, 10 coming back. And once you drop that thing, once you say it, release it. Don't sit there worrying about it. Don't sit there stressing over it. Don't sit there thinking about it. Give it to God, baby. And go on about your business. And every time you think about it from that point on, I want you to say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. That for every dollar I just released, that 10 is on its way back to me. Mm. So if you release 200, you do the math. How much coming back? How much coming by? Try it. Try it and see how it works, baby. Try it and see how your life is changed forever. Try it and see that God will show himself because he will do exceeding and abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think, baby, according to the power that works in you. It's in your mouth. Divine ones, what we said, baby. It's in your voice. Why are you waiting on me to speak it for you when God done put it in your mouth? He telling you today, baby, just like he said in the word. He says, I have touched your mouth and I have put my words in your mouth. Speak it. Glory be to God. That's it, Lord. Authority. God has given you authority, baby. You have the keys. Jesus said, I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of God. Use your keys, baby. It's in your voice. Speak to your money. Speak over your husband. Speak over your wife. Speak over your children. Use your keys. I hear some keys jingling. <laughs> I hear some keys jingling. I see the divine ones. I hear y'all jingling them keys. I see you using your keys, baby. Use your keys. You have been preferred. You are the leader, baby. And whether they like it or not, they got to get behind you. See, it didn't matter if little Susie and little Bobby, little Tommy and them, they ain't like it. If I was the leader that day, they had to get behind me. I hear y'all telling the devil, Satan, get thee behind me. Come on now. Get behind me, devil. Move out my way. Shut up. You've been talking in my ear long enough. Get behind me. <laughs> 
That's what I hear y'all say. You know, you get tired of being drugged. You get tired of being broke. You get tired of being sick. I hear y'all telling the devil, get, get out my way. Get behind me. I have been preferred. What you talking about? I'm going to die. You a lie. This sickness is not unto death, baby. I have been preferred. Move out my way. Get behind me. Come on now. That's it, Nicole. You got to shake the devil off, baby. Get him up off of you. Devil, get up off of me and get out my way. Get behind me. I don't care who didn't like it. If you were the leader, they ain't have no say over that. They had to get behind you. You led the line. They couldn't eat till you led them to the lunchroom. <laughs> They couldn't get, listen, they couldn't even get on the school bus to go home until the leader got in front of the line and the leader had to lead everybody out to the school bus zone. This enemy that been dragging you, the only reason he dragging you is because you have moved from your position. You have moved from your position of power. You have moved from your position of authority. You have moved. You have allowed yourself to be moved. What the word told us, baby? Be still. Do not be moved. Come on now. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Do not allow the enemy to move you from your position. To move you from your post. Stay on your post. You are the leader. You have been preferred. You have been chosen over the others. Sorry for you. Somebody put it in the comments. Say sorry for you. <laughs> sorry for you. I'm the leader today. Sorry for you. Move down. Get out my way. Sorry for you. Because I have been preferred. And I want you to talk that big talk. I want you to stand on kingdom business. I'm sorry for you. That's it. That's it, Melanie. That's it. Just like that. Put it. Just like that. Sorry for you. Well, I just don't think that's fair. Well, I just don't think you know how they go to talk. Well, I they go to calling little meetings over to the side in the in the in the in the uh break room and stuff out in the parking lot. Well, I just don't she ain't even been here that long. I just don't think that's fair. You know, I've been here since the company first started. And I've I've helped build this thing from the ground. But your heart ain't right. Come on now. You didn't pass the heart test, baby. You got to have an excellent spirit. You want it for your own selfish gain. You want it for your own selfish benefit. God ain't in the business of, of elevating and preferring people that ain't kingdom minded. You want a title because it's going to make you look good. You want a title because it's going to bless you. You're not thinking about how you can help somebody else, how you can serve somebody else, how you can give value to somebody else. How you can change somebody's life. That's what purpose is about. Purpose is about bringing meaning to your life and the people's lives that you're changing. It's about solving a problem for somebody. It's about giving increase to people. Giving people the impression of increase. Making people's lives a little bit better. Even if you only made it just a little bit better. A purpose was served. But when you're in it for yourself. You in it for your selfish gains, your selfish benefits. You will not be preferred. I don't care how beautiful you are. I don't care how educated you are. I don't, I don't care how talented you are. I don't care how much experience you have. I don't care how much seniority you have. You might have did help build that thing from the ground up. But God looking at what that heart do. What's in your heart? How do you treat my people? How do you talk to my people? Are you a team player? Or will you throw everybody overboard for the sake of saving yourself? You are all for the vision until you can't get what you wanted. You are all for the mission until somebody tell you no, until somebody hurt your feelings. And now you throw everything overboard. Come on now. Excellent spirit. You must carry an excellent spirit, whether you get your way or not. Do y'all know so many times in my own business, in my own walk with God, in everything that I do, in the level that I do it, I had to become the type of person that was okay with not getting my way. I had to become the type of person that was okay with being told no. 
because there was a time where if I would have got told no or I didn't get my way, I would have threw all this stuff away. Y'all wouldn't have saw me online no more. Let's be real. It's some people that's like that. But you got to get to that point where you say, I'm sold out for Christ. This is not a job for me. This is, this is my purpose. This is my reason for existing. This is why I came here. This is why I was sent here. I came to do the work of my father, which have sent me. See, once you get to that level with that thing, it won't matter who told you no. It won't matter who looked down on you. It won't matter if you got your way or not. Because you know, this thing is bigger than me. It's bigger than my feelings. I don't always feel like it. You think I always feel like it? I get sick. I get tired. I get frustrated. I don't always feel like it. But I had to learn how to become the person that didn't let those type of things stop me. You got to know how to have the emotions, be human, but don't let that stop you. Don't let that stop you. You made a commitment, you got to show up. You made a commitment, you got to keep going. And when you become that type of person that come hell or high water, you maintain an excellent spirit. Because it's not just about getting an excellent spirit. It's about maintaining one through the good and the bad. It's okay to have an excellent spirit one day. But can you maintain it? Maintenance. That's what God is looking for. That's one of the qualifications of being preferred. This is not a one-time thing. This is not a, oh, well, I did it. Well, my reward. <laughs> God is looking for maintenance. Can you maintain? Because, see, once you maintain, God knows. Now it has been, a, it, be, it, has be, it has become, excuse me, it has become a part of your identity. Once you can maintain it, it is no longer a fad. It is no longer a trend. It is no longer some wave you jumped on. But once you have stepped into maintenance, now your identity has changed. In order for you to maintain certain habits over a long period of time, that changes you. That's transformation. Now it's no longer just something you own, something you doing, something you interested in, something you, you got on because they told you you can make some money doing this. So you know, once it is maintenance for you, now your identity has changed. You have broke the old habit. You have broke the habit of being your old self and you have become a whole new person. Oh, that's when it's on then, baby. It's on and popping in. That's when you start seeing a lot of the stuff you begged for. Back in the day, God just give it to you now. He just give it to you. And you see, oh, you start connecting the dots. You see, oh, oh, this stuff was always available for me. God was waiting for me to change. He was waiting for my habits to change. He was waiting for my personality to change. He was waiting for me to stop saying that this is just me and they got to accept me for who I am. He was waiting for me to step out of that toxic spirit and to begin to take on a spirit of excellence. And once I became excellent in the spirit, that's when I was preferred. See, then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Mm. What you say? Then this Daniel. Then this Ashley Sanders. Then this Cameron. Mm. Come on now. Then this Shara. Then this Latoya. <laughs> then this Liz. Then this Shane. Put your name in the blank, baby. Go read Daniel 6 and 3 and put your name in now because it's talking about you. The Bible is a book about you. Sure, there are stories in there. There are real life accounts in there. But it all comes back to you. It's talking about you. Then this Chrissy was preferred. Then this Selena was preferred. Above the presidents and the princes. Above people of great positions. Great power. 
you have been preferred. Why? How she get it? Why him? Why her? Because an excellent spirit. Because an excellent spirit was in him. An excellent spirit was in her. And the king thought, the boss man thought, the supervisor thought, the organization thought, you fill in the blank. They thought that we're going to set her above the whole realm. No, she ain't got as much experience. No, he ain't got as many credentials. No, he ain't got that much background. But there's something about this young man. There's something about this lady. It's something about her voice. Mm. It's something about this anointing that's on her. It's something about this anointing that's, that's in him, that's in her. Because it's in you. It ain't on you. It's inside of you. It's something about what God put inside of you, baby. He programmed it inside of your spiritual DNA. Why he said your gift will make room for you. You ain't got to compromise. You ain't got to bend on your standards. You ain't got to dance to the devil tune, baby. You ain't got to do what's trending. You ain't got to do what's popping. All you got to do is be you. And be excellent in spirit. And you shall be preferred. I don't care how long they've been out there. I don't care how long they've been doing it. You can come in that thing three months and go straight to the top. Excellent spirit. Excellent spirit. I remember I did a whole Bible study. Y'all go watch that video. It was one of my older videos. I'll link it later on in the description. It was a prophetic Bible study that I did. And I broke that thing down in Daniel 6. I want y'all to go watch that. That's part of your homework. Prophetic Bible study. Your anointing brings jealousy. I think that was the name of it. But I'll link it in just a little bit. But if you go on YouTube and you search prophetic Bible study, Latoya O'Keel, I broke that down in Daniel 6. About what happened with Daniel. And how you can be able to see yourself in that scripture. And related to what's going on in your life right now. I broke it all down. Go watch that video. That's your homework. Prophetic Bible study. Daniel 6. You have been preferred. Your anointing, baby. They ain't gonna like it. But they gotta accept it. Do you understand me? Because you are the leader. God has chosen you. They don't know. That you were God's pick the whole time. But that's why we said tell them to stay tuned because this is the season that it shall all be revealed. This is the season that it shall all come to the light. You have been preferred. You have been chosen. To be preferred means favored. You have been favored. You have been chosen. You have been picked. You have been selected. You have been liked better than the other ones. <laughs> you have been liked best. You God's pick. See? When you God's pick, baby, just like you the little teacher's pet sitting up there. Wait a minute. How she does you Don't worry about that. See, you, you tell these folks, you, you worry about the wrong thing. <laughs> you, I'm going to need you to not worry about that. Okay? You worry about the wrong thing. Because, see, if you go to digging into my story, talking about, well, how she get, well, how he get, well, okay, now you got to go back to the past where I used to be. And, and since you, since you want it so much, <laughs> since you want that position, you want that spot so bad, you want them, you want that glam, you got to get that pain too. Oh, okay. Tell them they got to come all the way back and they got to get that pain too. They got to get them nights you slid down the wall and did the ugly cry. They got to get them nights where you was trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Where you was robbing Peter to pay Paul. Well, come on now. They, they got to get all them seasons too. They got to get them seasons when you was an orphan. When you was abandoned by your parents. Come on now. When you had to go from pillar to post because you didn't have nowhere to stay. You didn't have no place that you could call home. They don't know this anointing go all the way back to when you were five years old. Come on now. And the Lord had to keep you. The Lord had to shield you. He had to protect you, baby, because you was David all alone. Come on now. 
and they want to come in in the fourth quarter and think they're going to get something. Think they're going to steal something that God has for you. They're going to have to take that thing all the way back to kindergarten. <laughs> think about some of the things you went through in your childhood. It's some stuff right now y'all done dealt with that you might ain't even tell your parents about. You might have didn't even, you ain't never told nobody about. Some things you dealt with, you have to take it to your grave. You ain't told nobody but God. These folk want to take what God done gave you, done take your, trying to take your anointing. They got to go all the way back to the beginning. And take that pain too. Uh-huh. Take care of them children by themselves with no help. They got to go all the way by. You ain't don't, you don't think you finna come in right here? <laughs> Want your shine, but they ain't go through them trenches. Got to go through the trenches. That's part of the qualification. That's part of being preferred. I love y'all so much. Let me go ahead and get on my walk, baby. Listen, I want y'all to come on in, come on in. Listen, if you enjoy this, you like this, what you getting here on the lives, baby. Listen, I, 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 we've been on here an hour. We've been, over, we've been on here over an hour, baby. Over an hour. I done poured it out. I done poured my heart out. Now, I want y'all, I want to extend the invitation to y'all, baby. I want you to come in. I want you to take it a step further. I want you to sow that seed into your divine destiny. Sow that seed into your future, baby. Into your spiritual development. Glory be to God. I sowed a seed and I've been eating from that seed ever since. I sowed a seed and I did the work. See, that's part of the excellent spirit. I sowed the seed and I did the work and it changed my life. And I want to extend the same invitation to you that somebody extended to me and it changed my life. If you're looking for a coach, if you're looking for a community of other divine ones, a family of other divine ones, I got some of my family on here right now. So I see you, Shane. I see you, Monica Stokes. I see you, Shara. I see I got some of my members on here right now. Come on now. I want y'all to come on in, come on in. I want you to go to LatoyaOkeelAcademy.com and I want you to sign up for the group coaching membership. We meet every Tuesday. Next Tuesday night, we're going to be right back on that thing. 7 p.m. Last night, we went to a whole nother level. It was amazing. We were on Zoom for over three hours. Over three hours. Holy Spirit showed up and showed out. I want y'all to be a part of this movement. I want you to be a part of this. I want you to sow that seed. I want you to invest because you owe it to you. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to your family to become the person that you was always supposed to be. Become the person that you were divinely created to be. Getting your transformation, your children are going to benefit from that. Your husband is going to benefit from that. He's going to be like, who is this woman? This ain't my wife. <laughs> who is you? <laughs> that come on now, same thing. My men and my women. Women going to be like, who this man? Is this my child's father? This the same man. We got men and women. It's a co-ed environment. Come on now. Men and women. Coming together for the kingdom of God. Y'all know in this society, in this world that we live in, gender wars are at a rise, a high rise. The devil got it. Men, man against woman. Woman against man. Not in here. Not in here. This a movement for the kingdom of God, baby. This ain't just no women empowerment. This ain't no men empowerment. This kingdom empowerment. The kingdom is men and women. Y'all sow that seed and come on in. And you will not only get what you investing in, but you're going to get twice as much. Three times as much. Because we over deliver. We give you more than what you invested in. That's a good investment right there. I'm an investor myself. <laughs> a good investment is when I can put some in and I get more. I get more than what I put in. I get compound interest. I get more than what I sold. When you come into the group, you're going to sow $47 a month, but it's going to compound, baby. Somebody put it in the comments. Say compound interest. It's going to multiply. It's going to accrue. It's going to build up over and over and over again. Glory be to God. Your transformation takes time. This ain't something that, that can happen in one video. This ain't something that can happen in one live. This ain't something that can happen from one Zoom. You got to get in a place that you can grow. You got to get in a community that you can grow. You got to get with a coach that you can trust. 
Many of you have seen growth. You've seen transformation from my free videos, from just coming in, executing, taking action on the things that I'm sharing with you right here. Imagine what your life can be if you take it a step further. Imagine what your life can be. Come on now. Imagine the new you. The new you. The kingdom you. The divine you. The you that's always smiling. The you that's always peaceful. Because I'm going to tell you, with your transformation, that's how it's going to happen for you first. You're going to get the spiritual gains first. And then it starts to work its way to the outside. See, I learned that. I heard somebody say that one time. Can't remember the, um, the, the author of the quote. But I remember I heard somebody say one time, glory be to God. Uh, none, none to none. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for joining the membership. Excuse me if I didn't say your name right. But thank you so much for joining the membership. Jada Moments, thank you so much for your seed. I appreciate that. Kat, welcome to the membership. Thank you so much. Uh, gracefully anointed, I do have a cash out. I'll put it, I'll put it on the culture. Can you put the cash out in the comments for me? That's for anybody that's led to sow. If you ain't led to sow, you ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> but if you led to sow, if you want to sow a seed, I ain't, I'm not going to put you, I'm not going to make you jump through a whole bunch of hoops just to be able to sow your seed. Cause when the Lord get on me and I want to sow something, somebody done fed me and I want to sow, I don't want to be looking to try to figure out how I can sow. <laughs> I want to go on and know what, where the thing at, baby, where the link so I can sow because I got to go and drop this seed for the enemy try to distract me. So if you feel led to sow, the cash out is, ca is the cash sign, the divine ones, 2020. I appreciate y'all so much. Glory be to God. But I want you to come in. If you can come into the membership, I want you to come in and I want you to commit to giving it at least six months, at least a year. On the shorter end, if you can give it at least six months, come in, commit to it, give it at least six months because transformation takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen. You are changing lifestyle habits, habits that you have been doing for the last 30 years, the last 40 years, the last 50 years. It takes time to break that, baby. So when you come in, I want you to give yourself time. Give yourself grace. If you're not in a position to get there yet, then start budgeting. Start putting your transformation first. Start budgeting. Start, start getting serious. Start prioritizing your growth and your development. And come on in. Come on in. We have live mentoring, live coaching every single Tuesday. You don't get just a whole bunch of videos. But you get me and the other coaches, my other instructors that are teaching lessons, teaching classes in there. You come in, bring your journal, bring your blue ink pen. Come on now. All you need is an internet connection <laughs> to be able to get on Zoom, set up your Zoom account, baby, or free Zoom account. And well, you don't have to buy a Zoom account, but just make sure you got Zoom on your phone or either your computer and come in every Tuesday and execute on what we're teaching you and watch the transformation. Watch the transformation. It's going to change your life. It's going to change your life. Every single thing that I say to y'all, I walked it first. I lived it first. I had to go through it first. I was the first partaker of the fruit. And I told God, I said, when you brought me out, I will go back. I will spend the rest of my life helping people that want the same transformation. I will spend the rest of my life going back for my brothers and my sisters and helping them to get to this new way of life. I'm living a life right now that 10 years ago, I never knew that this life was possible for me. I, 10 years ago, I, I couldn't see past what I was in right then. I was in a dark place. I was in a low place. I was lonely. I was depressed. I had people all around me. I was married. I had family all around me, but I was still lonely. You can be married and still be lonely. You can have people all around you and still be 